At the National MS Society, every day we hear from people with MS about the obstacles they face and the way that living with MS can make it difficult to navigate all aspects of life, from the healthcare system to employment and so much more. And we know that many of the barriers that people face are systemic issues and systemic barriers. And so we look at our advocacy work as one of the ways that we can make systemic change and address these barriers so that every individual with MS can live a better life. So we advocate with the federal government for things like greater investments in MS research so we can find better treatments or a cure, as well as fighting to make health insurance coverage more accessible and working to make prescription drugs more affordable. We also advocate across the states on these types of things and more for things like home modification tax credits to help with the cost of MS that we know is such a challenge and so pervasive. So the National MS Society is very engaged in advocacy. And at the federal level, there have been positive bipartisan discussions about policies to reduce the impact of high prescription drug prices and bills to reduce the use of utilization management tools like prior authorization and step therapy. We know that these things can create barriers and delays to people with MS getting the medications they need in a timely way. You know, in the states, there's been a lot of focus on ensuring that people with MS have access to comprehensive coverage and care, from improving access to mental health care and ensuring parity for that care, to improving coverage and expanding Medicaid to help the most vulnerable. Ensuring access to care is a large part of the policy discussions that are happening across the country and a big part of the society's advocacy work. And we really look at, you know, one of the silver linings from the COVID-19 pandemic has been the expanded use of telehealth. And so we're advocating to be able to reduce barriers to telehealth services and continue that um, growth in telehealth that we've seen across the pandemic time period. We find that it's really important and really helpful for the professional community to get involved with advocacy and expanding healthcare access. And connecting with the National MS Society is a great place to start. So to get involved with the society's advocacy work, people can text MS activist, which is all one word, to 52886, or people can sign up on the society's website. And that means that you'll get information and updates from the society on um, when there's a key point in time and stay up to date on policy issues. But healthcare professionals and researchers can help people with MS get what they need in a variety of ways. And so connecting with the society is a wonderful place to start from advocacy to being knowledgeable about programs that are being delivered and much more. And in my advocacy experience, I found that it can really be incredibly powerful for a healthcare professional and a person with MS to talk with an elected official together. That way that elected official gets sort of the global view and landscape from the neurologist, and then they get the personal perspective from the person living with MS. And it really can paint a much more complete picture for the elected official. Additionally, connecting with the American Academy of Neurology and other partner organizations, those also have their own advocacy and engagement programs. So there's really a lot of ways to be able to lend your expertise and passion through all of these organizations to really create the needed change for our healthcare system.